Homage to the eternal abiding Buddhas, the Supreme Dharma, the Shakti Sangha, throughout the Dharma realms, and the realm of empty space and the three periods of times. Homage to the fundamental teacher, Shakti Buddha, may trade honor future Buddha, may sure red wisdom Bodhisattva, universal red conduct Bodhisattva, all the Dhamma garden devas Bodhisattvas, and the magic mountain assembly of Buddhas Bodhisattva. Homage to the Amitabha Buddha in the land of ultimate bliss, Abba Lusaseva, rest from Harshan Bodhisattva, rest from Bodhisattva, us or red flowers Bodhisattva, and the assembly of red pure seed like Bodhisattva. Evening recital, homage and refuge, Namo Purayaya, Namo Damayaya, Namo Shankayaya, homage to the enlightened Buddha, perfect in wisdom and compassion, homage to the noble Dharma, to the universal law of the Buddha taught, homage to the Holy Sangha, the protectors of the noble Dharma, to these triple gems, I go for refuge. May the triple gems bless and protect me and my loved ones tonight. May we be free from harm and danger. May we overcome our difficulties. May we always meet with success. May we be blessed with good health, and strength, peace, and happiness. May my parents, brothers, and sisters, teachers, friends, and relatives be well and happy. May they be free from harm and danger. If they are faced with harm and danger, I wish that they overcome their anxieties quickly. If they are faced with ill health, I wish that they remain good health soon. May the Buddha, Dharma, and the Sangha bless and protect them. Protect me and my loved ones tonight, O oh, blessed one. Keep us away from harm and danger. Let our sleep be peaceful so that we awake in the morning, refreshed in body and mind. Aspiration. If I have strays from the true path, may I never do so again. If I have carelessly hurt someone someday, the wood or this, may I be more mindful the next time. O Buddha, the light ones. Happy to set my heart right. May my actions reflect your love and compassion. I shall strive to cleanse my throat from hate and envy and live in harmony with all people. I shall be close to the Dharma in good aspects in difficult times. I know that should a woman come for me to leave the world, I shall do so without fear or regret. Because I leave the world a better person than when I came into it. Whatever wrong someone may do to me, 
may be compassionate and forgive and be no hatred in my heart. I shall bear in mind to be grateful for the acts of love and consideration shown to me. No matter how small they appear to be, for those I love and those who love me, may this night be a blessing and a source of happiness to all beings. Number four, yeah, yeah. I would like to share the memories I have gathered today as well as in the past with neighbors. May they be joined in these memories and keep an eyes on me and my loved ones. I would also like to transfer these memories to my departed relatives and friends. Wherever they are, may they be free from sufferings and be happy. Metasuda. She who is skilled in doing good and wishes to attain that state of calm should act thus. She should be able, upright, perfectly upright, obedient, gentle, and humble, contented, easily looked after, with few duties, simple in livelihood, controlled in senses, discreet, not impudent not freely attached to families. She should not commit any slight wrong so that other wise beings might find fault in her. May all beings be happy and safe. May their hearts be wholesome. Whatsoever living beings there are, feeble or strong, long, stout or medium, short, small or large, seen or unseen, those dwelling far or near, those who are born and those are to be born, may all beings, without exception, be happy-minded. Let not one deceive another, nor despise any person whatsoever in any place. In anger or ill will, let her not wish any harm to another. Just as a mother would protect her only child at the risk of her own life, even so, let her cultivate a boundless heart towards all beings, let thoughts of boundless love pervade the whole world, above, below, and across, without any, any obstruction, without any hatred, without any enemy. Whether she stands, walks, sits, or lies down, as long as she is awake, she should develop this mindfulness. This, they say, is the highest conduct here. Not falling into error, virtuous, and endowed with insight. She discards attachment to sensuous desires. Truly, she does not come again to be conceived in the womb. By the firm determination of this truth, may I ever be well. Maha Jaya Angalangata, the great merciful Lord for the good of all living beings, practice all profession and attain supreme enlightenment. By these words of truth, may joyous victory be mine. He who enhanced the happiness of Sakyas, who was victorious at the first of the Bodhi tree, likewise, may there be victory for me, and may I ever be blessed. I revere the Buddha, the highest jewel and the best bomb ever, beneficent to gods and man. By the Buddha, glory, safely may all obstacles and suffering cease. I revere the Dharma, highest jewel and the best bomb that cools down the heat. By the power of that Dharma, safely may all obstacles and fear cease. I revere the Sangha, highest jewel and the best bomb, worthy of offering, worthy of hospitality. By the power of that Sangha safely, may all obstacles pass, may all my diseases be cured. Whatever diverse present jewels there be in this universe, there is no jewel equal to the Buddha. By this truth, let me be, be prosperous. Whatever diverse present jewel there be in the universe, there is no jewel equal to the Dharma, by this truth, let us, let me be prosperous. 
whatever diverse plus jewel there be in the universe, there is no jewel equal to the Sangha. By this truth, let me be prosperous. There is no other refuge for me. The Buddha is my matchless refuge. By these words of truth, may joyous victory be mine. Thus have I have heard on one occasion the blessed one who was dwelling at the monastery at Tapindika in Jeragus Grove near Savati. When the night was far spent, a certain deity whose surpassing splendor illuminated, illuminated the entire Jared Grove came to the presence of the blessed one and drawing near, respectfully saluted and stood at one side. Standing thus, he addressed the blessed one in verse. Many deities and men yearning after good have pondered on blessings. Pray tell me the supreme blessing, not to follow associate with fools, to associate with the wise, and honor those way honor this is the supreme blessing. To assign a suitable locality to have done meritorious actions in the past, and to set oneself on the right course towards emancipation, this is the supreme blessing. Vast learning perfect handicraft and highly trained discipline in pleasant speech is a supreme blessing. The support of father and mother, the cherishing of wife and children, and peaceful occupations is a supreme blessing. Liberality, righteous conduct, the helping of relatives, and blameless, speech, blameless actions is a supreme blessing. To cease and abstain from evil, forbearance with respect to intoxicants, and steadfastness and virtues. This is a supreme blessing. Reverence, humility, contentment, gratitude, and opportunity hearing of the Dhamma. This is a supreme blessing. Patience, obedience, size, smiles, religious discussions at due seasons. This is a supreme blessing. Self control, pure life. Perception of noble truth and realization of nibbana, this is supreme blessing. He whose mind does not bother, by contact of royal contingencies, sorrowless, stainless, and secure, this is supreme blessing. Okay. <clears throat> Gina Panjara. The heroes, having defeated the evil one together with his army, mounted the seat of victory. These leaders of men have drunk the nectar of the four truths. May all the 28 chief Buddhas, such as Buddha, Tanhamkara, and other noble sages, rest on my head. May the Buddhas rest on my head, the Dhamma on my eyes the Sangha, the abode of all virtues, on my shoulders. May Anuruddha rest on my heart, Sariputta on my right, Kondana on my back, and Mogalyana on my left. On my right ear are Ananda and Rahula. On my left are Kasapa and Mahanarna. On my back at the end of my hair sits the glorious Lord Sobhita, who is radiant like the sun. The fluent speaker, the Lord Kumara Kasapa, the abode of virtues ever rest in my mouth. On my forehead, like Tilakas, are the five Theras, Puna, Angulimala, Upali, Nanda, and Sivali. The other eighty Theras, the victorious disciples of the conqueror, shining in the glory of their virtues, rest on the other parts of my body. The jeweled discourse in my front, on my right is the discourse of loving kindness. The Dajaga is on my back. On my left is the Angulimala discourse. The protective discourse, Kanda, Mora, 
and Atanitia are like the heavenly vault. The others are like a rampart around me. Ever engaged in four duties, do I dwell in the Buddha mansion, fortified by the commanding power of the Buddha and decked by the wall of the Dhamma. By the power of their infinite virtues, may all internal and external troubles caused by air, bile, etc. come to naught without exception. May all those great personages ever protect me who am dwelling in the center of the Buddha mansion on this earth. Protecting myself thus in every way, overcoming all troubles by the power of the conqueror, may I, by the grace of the Buddha, defeat the hostile army of passions and live guarded by the sublime Dhamma. Protecting myself thus in every way, overcoming all troubles by the power of the conqueror, may I, by the grace of the Dhamma, defeat the hostile army of passions and live guarded by, by the sublime Dhamma. Protecting myself thus in every way, Overcoming all troubles by the power of the conqueror, may I, by the grace of the Sangha, defeat the hostile army of passions and be guarded by the sublime Dhamma. I am surrounded by the rampart of the sublime Dhamma. The eight Aryans are in the eight directions. The eight benefactors are in the intermediate directions. The Buddhas stand like a canopy above me. The Buddha who sat at the foot of the Bodhi and defeated the army of the evil one stands on my head. The venerable Mogalyana is on my left shoulder, and the venerable Sariputta is on my right shoulder. The Dhamma dwells in my heart's core. The Bodhisattva, who was born a peacock and who shines as the sole benefactor of the world, shields my feet. All ill luck, misfortunes, ill omens, diseases, evil planetary influences, Blame, dangers, fears, undesirable dreams, may they all come to naught by the power of the noble Buddha. All ill luck, misfortunes, ill omens, diseases, evil planetary influences, blame, dangers, fears, undesirable dreams, may they all come to naught by the power of the noble Dhamma. All ill luck, misfortunes, ill omens, diseases, evil planetary influences, blame, dangers, fears, undesirable dreams, may they all come to naught by the power of the noble Sangha. Salutation to the Buddha. Sat, in this is the blessed one, the Sat, a wisdom endowed with knowledge and virtue gone beyond, knower of the words, a guide incapable for the training of the individual, teachers of God and man, and light and holy. By the names, he is an arhat, as he is worthy, even in secret, he does no evil, he attends the food of partnership. To this, the worthy ones might always be. By names, he is Samaras Sambuddha, the teachers is of the Samar Sambuddha, the fully enlightened ones, is in the world. To this, the fully ones, but how much be? Is endowed with wisdom and knowledge. The wisdom is meant to know. The past and the future he knows. To this, who is endowed with wisdom and encouraged by how much be? Is Sukhaga, being self-discipline, being good, he is Sugata. He has gone to the good state of Nirvana. To this Sugata Mahomet's P. My name is this Lukavidu, is know the past and future, in spins and space he knows. To this law of the words, Mahomet's P. The wisdom and conduct is in river, and in the river once he is in the world. In this world he is prevalent as an incompetent ones, that incompetent ones. I salute a chapter, a chapter is of Devas, he is a characterist to the world. He is a respectful characterist to this world. That's characters I salute. To Devas, Yasa, and men in this world, he gives the highest food and they subdue the defilement. To the law of the men, by how much be. The Bhagavad is defeated with fortune. He has his coat for passions. He has crossed the ocean of Samara to that Bhagavad Mahamashpi. 
salutation to the Dharma, we espouse is the Dharma by the blessed one, to be self-realized, to be put a process, to be seen, capable of being handled of corn, to be attended by the wise, each by himself. Salutation to the Sangha. Of good conduct is the order of the disciple of the Blessed One. Of right conduct is the need of order of the disciples of the Blessed One. Of the wise conduct is the order of disciples of the Blessed One. Of beautiful conduct is the order of disciples of the Blessed One. This order of disciple of the Blessed One, namely, this podcast person is worthy of offerings, is worthy of hospitality, is worthy of gifts, is worthy of reverential circulation, is incompatible pure appearance to the world. We, the Buddhist monastery, communities, and the Buddha Blessed Temple, and other Buddhist center, and with the friends around the world, a country for this space of prayer for our well-being that may the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas bless everyone around the globe to be set and have strength and spirit physically, mentally, and spiritually to overcome during this crisis moment. May the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas bless the doctors, nurses, and all healthcare providers to have tremendous strength and spirit to provide proper treatments for the COVID-19 patients. May the Buddha and Bodhisattva bless all the COVID-19 patients to be recovered from this illness soon. May the Buddha and Bodhisattva bless scientists to develop proper vaccinations to cure people from this deadly virus soon. May the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas bless all the officers from all levels of governments around the country and the globe to work together and deal with this great pandemic effectively. May the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas bless that this deadly coronavirus may be subdued soon so that we could get back to our normal life. May the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas bless those who have lost their lives Due to this coronavirus, we take better course in celestial realms and human realms. May everyone care, respect, and love each other and work together during this crisis without any discrimination and aversion.
so thank you thanks for everyone to participate in this prayer for us to overcome this uh, pandemic uh, crisis thank you so uh, we will continue to do the prayer uh, every uh, Saturday okay, thank you so uh, welcome to this uh,